What a good day for an afternoon stroll. What the hell? Where the fuck am I? Hello there. You may be wondering why you were brought here. Do you know who the fuck I am? Uh, no. But... Whatever. Shut up. I'm big- I told you to shut up. I'm trying- ah, That shit hurt, man. What the fuck, man? You need to take me to the hospital. I Wait. God, fuck's sake. Just shut up. How hard is it? Okay, shut thing, man. Cool. Nice. All I needed to do was talk about- It probably won't come as much of a surprise when I say that it's one of my favorite games. You know, my name and likeness are based off of one of the characters in it, so... I'm sure that's a shocker. Uh, apparently it was though, considering that there is one person in particular who won't be named that, uh, thought my profile picture was of some, like, goober shit, uh, even though they played this game before. So, uh, they did indeed get out as a town fool and have been shackled, and tomatoes are being thrown at their head as we're currently speaking. But, uh, anyway, uh, if you actually went outside when you were 15, you might not have had the time to, uh, play Nuclear Throne for fucking 500 hours. So you might not even know what I'm talking about. So allow me to learn you a thing or two. Nuclear Throne is a top-down bullet hell roguelike released in 2015 by a small indie developer by the name of Lambeer. The main aim of the game is to reach the aforementioned Nuclear Throne by beating numerous randomly generated levels. Uh, I, I read all that shit straight off the wiki, I will not even lie to you for a second. The game is actually just half a extended reaction time test and half of a test on how hard you can tweak before you have a fucking stroke. Because of that, it's a great game if your dumbass TikTok brain can't focus on something for more than two seconds. You know who you are. As for what the game is actually like, it's probably most similar to the original Hotline Miami. Partly because of the movement feeling similar in regards to speed and acceleration and all that, and partly because of how much of a glass cannon you are. Most characters will die in four hits. Most enemies aside from bosses will die in about the same. So uh, smooth brains can rejoice as you don't really have to think at all, but uh, obviously the the way that the movement feels is very different. Just because Nuclear Throne is a bullet hell, uh, that goes from, uh, eh, it's not that bad, to, oh god, what the fuck is happening, I, I need to be held, I need mommy, I, I need mommy. milk. I uh, don't, don't use those at contact, please. As a consequence to some of that stuff, the weapons also feel pretty similar to Hotline Miami overall. Except for some strange balancing decisions, like making explosive weapons absolutely fucking useless. Decent chunk of the melee weapon taking like a slight gust of wind to the back of the head. You also get a bunch of funny mutation things to help you out after you level up, which are just like random modifier things that do various shit. But uh, the, the main point I want to make with this is that uh, this one in particular is why I use fish as my profile picture shit. Because I, I think when I was like... 15, I thought it was kind of funny, so I used it as my Steam profile picture, and changed my name, and now, look at me. I run a bad YouTube channel on youtube.com.au for um, the severely mentally handicapped to watch while in their padded cells, so that they don't dig their own veins out. Um, uh, if you're watching this, that does mean you, no exceptions, uh, I don't care how in touch with reality you think you are, uh, it is just something you're gonna have to accept, um, unfortunately. Uh, I wish you the best, but, uh, this is the only way we can contact you, you have been in a coma, um, your wife misses you greatly. You don't see Nuclear Throne get talked about that much anymore, despite being generally very well regarded. Which, I mean, it's, it's not hard to see why. I'm not going to beat around the bush. It was last update four years ago. Fair enough, I suppose. But compared to his contemporaries, I, I think most people would have preferred Nuclear Throne to be expanded upon rather than something like The Binding of Isaac or Risk of Rain. Which is not to say that those games are bad or anything. It's just a shame that Nuclear Throne was just kind of left there to rot. Especially because the myriad of games have referenced Nuclear Throne. It kind of reminds me of it every now and again. But hey, at least the best video of all time was produced because of Nuclear Throne. 
Nuclear Throne Dash Throne Boss Fight by Curtis Michael Button. Truly an iconic piece of history. Uh, w one could say the Citizen Kane of, um... I, I actually don't know, but it's the Citizen Kane of something. Actually, th the other Nuclear Throne video up on the Kurt Dog channel is, is of similar historic importance. <laughs> um, mostly because they recorded it three days after I came out of the womb. And damn, I could not make a good joke to save my life. If I see a single, you still can't, in the comments section, I am going to do something that we're all going to regret. So you better not fucking put that down there. I am still waiting on Variety Video 2 and also beating Dark Souls Remastered Stream 2. Hey, it's been a long couple months, you know. Hey, wait a minute, you were supposed to keep me on track. Oh, what the fuck, man? Seriously, why would I even give a shit about you or your fucking friend? Don't look at me like that. I apologize sincerely. I do believe that you were talking about the electronic game. Newly a throne, which you may continue to do in your least love. However, may I make a suggestion that the viewers should subscribe to Fish or the media harm will come to them and their family. Oh, um, yeah, right. Okay. I'll uh, probably get back to it then. <clears throat> Nuclear Throne, or at least Nuclear Throne Together, is one of the main reasons I even started this channel back for my old Variety Hour videos. Even if I didn't end up including it much, it was still a pretty big factor on why I, I started making them anyway. I mean, because at the time I was really, really into Nuclear Throne. Like, into it enough to seriously try and get number one on the leaderboards for an extended period of time. Uh, which I didn't ever end up achieving, by the way, but it wasn't that far off. All the way back then, I got number 33, which I, I was very proud of at the time, but then could never, ever, ever beat that, uh, but didn't beat it ever. Um, but for this video, I I don't know why, but I really wanted to beat that score. Like, I don't know why, I just wanted to be... I, I wanted to get a placement higher than that for this video, even though it doesn't make any difference. To anyone but me specifically. I, I just thought it would be cool, but um, I, I don't really have a climactic way of saying this, but like after trying a little bit, uh, honestly it wasn't that hard, I did manage to beat my score. Um, I managed to get rank 14, which was below 1%, which is what I kind of wanted. It was awesome, felt good about it. Uh, and then I took a look at the leaderboards and realized that I had already accidentally beat that while I was trying to do it um, a lot earlier and I just didn't check because I didn't think it would be good enough but it was so so what shoes have I got on? but uh, while researching this part of the video I found out that apparently I'm the top 1% of people that have ever even played this game so that's, that's cool I suppose and um Oh, because of that, uh, here's the objective character tier list, and also the objective mutant tier list. All tiers are ordered, there's zero room for debate, if you have any complaints, I would love to see you put them down in the comments, so I can promptly ignore you, and never care about your opinion again. Also, while I was researching this part, I saw that someone has a My Back Is Killing Me Baby profile picture, and that is actually based as fuck. To end the video, I think I'd like to touch on Nuclear Throne together, which like 90% of the Nuclear Throne player base is probably used at some point. Um, because it doubles as a mod loader for some reason, and I, I, I don't imagine I've got to explain what it does, it's in the name. Uh, the developer of the mod also was uh, the person who made the last update for Nuclear Throne as a whole, um, so that's awesome. I guess he just is better at developing the game than the actual devs were at the end. Uh, also, a good a good portion of my, my memories of Nuclear Throne come from Nuclear Throne together. Back when, like, anyone posted public lobbies, and everyone absolutely fucking sucked in it, playing through some of the overhaul mods with the Sea Dog and shit like that, when Nuclear Throne together came out, it even kind of revitalized the whole game for a bit, uh, which, which was nice while it lasted, but obviously, it doesn't last. But you know, what can you do? So, what did you think? It looks all right. Uh, that, that's it. Yeah. Okay, fine. You know what? I'm huh. not making videos anymore. That's Adam. Yay.